Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> hey, YouTube. How's it going, everybody? Oh my god, is my head really that big? Jeez Louise, I guess it is. Looks even bigger with all that hair. I need a haircut. But anyway, I got this freaky little wire right here. Do you know what it is? If you do, go down in the comments and explain what it is because some people that have never built a home theater really don't know much about uh, speakers. They don't understand why there is a wire coming out of the sidewall. You know, everyone knows you got surround speakers in the back, no for dramatic hand there, and you got speakers that go up front. But uh, why is this halfway coming out of the wall? Hmm. Check out the comments. Go ahead and tell everybody. And uh, don't worry about it. You can thousand times it's okay but anyway today's video is not about my freaky little friend here it's the beginning of the build where we actually start tearing out the carpet smashing out walls and putting up uh, two by fours and soffits and all that good stuff so um, it'll be a little more commentary from me and um, there will be a time-lapse video I hope you enjoy it um, you may not learn much but you can definitely see what we did to take this space and take it from a just an ordinary boring basement with some exercise equipment into a really killer home theater so remember if you like it give me a thumbs up if you don't like it but i think you're gonna like it because this is coming out really really good so thanks so much for tuning in stay tuned enjoy and have a great day boom morning it's five in the morning and today we are going to start building the home theater stay tuned
Hey, well, thanks for watching the video. Uh, it's the end of day one and a half, so we've been working pretty diligently for one and a half days, as you saw in the, uh, the video thus far. And uh, I'm just going to kind of go over what we've done. I know I'm going to get a little grief for having a professional framer here, but he is a buddy of mine. And you probably saw I was wearing a back brace. I hurt my back um, before this all started. And well, I didn't want to put any more delays on the project. So put my back brace on, called my buddy who's a professional framer. Hey, if you're in the Denver area and you need someone to do some framing or some carpentry work, uh, my friend Rick is really, really good. He's a Native American guy, as you probably saw in the video. Um, and he, uh, he's really fast, and he's a big guy, and man, he just moves like a little guy. And uh, you'd think he was 25 years old. I wish I had his energy. But uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, kind of go over what we've done here. I'm going to flip my camera around. And uh, as you, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I was talking about building the soffits. Well, I've got the soffits going all the way around here. And uh, I'm hoping to bury my projector up there, hide it in the soffit. If not, I'll put it here where the ceiling fan is. And those are going to be taken down. So I've got the soffits going all the way around. You know, a lot of people have been asking me, why build soffits? Well, it's a great place to hide your wires, uh, hide your electrical. Um, I'm going to put lights going all the way down here, and I'm going to delete these lights up in the ceiling because uh, lights in the center will reflect light coming off the screen and that's not what you want so you put it off to the side so it's out of your vision your, you know your line of sight um, and we're going to come over here and uh, you can see you've got uh, the sides here and the bottom so I've got my whole frame and I'm going to do some really neat stuff here like uh, put a little backer board where the uh, screen is going to mount to and uh, it is going to be an acoustically transparent screen so the Speakers are going to be back here on the stage. You've got to build a stage here, so that's coming up next. And uh, then to make the uh, the room a little more congruent, um, I'm we frame this off. I can't say me. I know this is supposed to be a DIY, but man, my back is hurting. So uh, it's good to have friends. Didn't charge me a lot of money, which was awesome. The the hourly was re ridiculously low. I'm not going to tell you because you're, if you ever call them, you're going to ask them for that rate. It did include food. So, and uh, because there's not going to be any access from this space, it's going to be turned into a closet. So I had an old door from another project that I had done. We bashed out the wall here, popped this door in, and it now goes to the boiler room, which is a little bit on the dark side. But, uh, so you can see I've got my audio rack here. This is the audio rack that you might have seen in another video that I've done that I went all the way to Steamboat, Colorado for. Uh, about $3,000 worth of racks I got for only 150 bucks. That was the steal of the century. So this will all be closed off here. that will be a nice closet. And then I will be able to walk here if there was no ladder in my way. And then back here I'd have access to the stage so if I ever need to do any type of uh, modifications improvements etc etc I will be able to walk back here without having to remove the screen so always think with the end in mind when you're building any type of big project like this imagine what it's going to look like in the end and make sure you don't lock yourself in to any one design um, you want to be able to make changes as time goes on because you never know you might want bigger speakers bigger subwoofers um, I went with a 135 inch screen and as a result it made this part pretty low and I was hoping to have it a little bit higher but um, I really really wanted the big screen and uh, in case I ever wanted to put huge subwoofers in because subwoofers are everything when it comes to home theater. That's what everybody tells me. And I believe it because everybody wants to thump, the boom, the bang. So anyway, this is the end of day one and a half. We got a lot of work done in only one and a half days. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. 
If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. There's no such thing as a bad, uh, bad publicity. And, uh, but I hope you did like it and you will give me a thumbs up. And um, stay tuned, subscribe, because there's a lot more coming. We've got electrical, we've got uh, speaker wires to run, I've got lighting to put up here. And you know, I have the idea in my head of what I want to do, but it's not set in stone. It can change daily or from minute to minute. So uh, that's the fun part about building your own home theater. You know, go on the Avs forums and check out other people's YouTube videos, see what they're doing. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down there. And uh, oh yeah, and if you need a good framer, go ahead and comment at the bottom. I'll respond to it and uh, I'll send you Rick's phone number. Uh, but that's only if you're in the Denver area. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.